Greetings everyone and welcome back. Meet Medic Mini, a handheld self-diagnosing tool designed to guide users through a basic symptom check with just a few button presses. Whether you are feeling under the weather or just want a quick health checkup, Medic Mini offers a fast, intuitive way to assess common symptoms without needing an app. At its core, Medic Mini runs on ESP32 C6. paired with the 1.47 wave shear display housed in a custom pcb and a 3d printed enclosure are designed from scratch the interface is clean and purposeful users are prompted with one symptom at time and response using the three tactile buttons yes no or not sure i designed medic mini to serve as a simple stand alone tool for diagnostic basic medical conditions like fever viral infection and fatigue The current logic is based on common symptoms and straightforward decision rules, but this is just a beginning. I plan to expand its diagnostic database by collecting more symptom data and work with medical professional to refine the logic. Based on the pattern of responses, this device offer a basic diagnostic suggestion, making health checkup feel as simple as flipping a switch. By the way, I've created a full build guide that covers the whole build process about this project, which you can check out. The link is in the video description. The concept behind Medic Mini was born out of simple frustration. The most health checker are either too complex or too expensive or just too slow. I wanted something instant, intuitive and portable. A device that could walk someone through basic symptoms without needing an app. It's not meant to replicate a doctor. It's meant to give clarity when you are unsure. whether it's for kids traveler or just quick reassurance the goal was to make health checking feel like flipping a switch right now the data that i have collected is limited but the potential is huge with inputs from doctors and medical professional we could expand the database refine logic and even integrate sensors to read pulse temperature and other vitals medic mini is just the start the goal is to make accessible intelligent health checker tool that anyone can use and yes it will be open source To get started with the first iteration of this project, I first built a simple breadboard setup that uses the ESP32 C6 dev kit connected to a Ili9341 display. For user interaction, I added three tactile buttons: yes, no, and not sure, mapped to GPIO pins. This setup serves as our base model for testing the core logic and UI flow. This is the test code that we use in this project. Once everything is working reliably, the plan was to shrink the entire system into a compact handheld device using a custom PCB and a 3D printed enclosure. For the handheld version of Medic Mini, I switched to a more integrated solution, the ESP32 C6 LCD 1.47 inch display board made by Waveshare. The name might be long, but the board itself is surprisingly compact and it packs a lot of power in a small footprint. The board features an ESP32 C6 microcontroller with 32-bit RISC-V core running up to 160 MHz. The built-in display is SPI based and works great with libraries like Adafruit GFX or LVGL. This board let me ditch the breadboard and external display entirely. Everything is now packed in a single compact unit that fit inside a custom 3D printed enclosure thanks to this display. You can check more about this display from its wiki page. Also for getting this display I got it from PCBWay's gift shop. For the design the goal was to create a handheld device and naturally the first thing that came to my mind was a TV remote. So I went with a similar form factor, long, slim and with buttons positioned near thumb for easy access. To begin I imported the ESP32 C6 board model into Fusion 360. along with model for type c port usb push buttons using these references i laid out a long pcb the display sits on the top the buttons are placed in the center and the usb type c port is placed at the bottom the enclosure was designed around this pcb layout and i added three buttons actuator that align directly above the push buttons pressing the actuator triggers this switch underneath the enclosure consists of two interlocking halves secured together with screws We printed both half with white PLA while the buttons actuator were all printed in gray PLA. 
Next comes the PCB design for the Medic Mini, which was split into two main sections. First, we have to build the schematic around the WaveShare ESP32C6 dev kit module, which is connected to three tactile buttons for user input. These buttons are wired with GPIO 9, GPIO 18 and GPIO 19, with each switch also connected to ground. When a button is pressed, the corresponding GPIO pin is pulled low, registering a valid input. The second section handles the power delivery. We use IP5306 power management IC which boosts the 3.7V from a LiPo cell to provide a stable 5V enough to power ESP32 board and the display. The module also includes a charging status LED. It blinks while charging and stays solid once battery is full. Using the dimension from the CAD model, we prepare the PCB outline and then place the buttons in their mounting position as specified in the design. We did the same for WaveShare ESP32 board, the Type-C port and other mounting holes. The rest of the component were placed wherever we found adequate space and then connected the traces and finalized the board. Once the board design was finalized, we placed an order in purple solder mask with white silkscreen and uploaded the Gerber data to PCB waste court page for fabrication. The PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was excellent. Over the past 10 years, PCBWay has distinguished themselves by providing outstanding PCB manufacturing and assembly services, becoming a trusted partner for countless engineers and designers worldwide. Also, PCBWay is organizing the PCBWay 8th Project Design Contest, a global event that invites maker, engineers and innovators to showcase their most creative build with categories in electronics, mechanical and AIoT. It's a great opportunity to share your work, connect with community and compete for exciting prices. You guys can check out PCBWay if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. After completing the build, I tested Medic Mini by running through Symptom Checker and sure enough, I was greeted with a fever message based on my inputs. The logic worked as intended. The device responds quickly and adequately to button presses. It's a solid proof of concept for portable interactive diagnostic tool. That said, this is just a beginning. To truly elevate Medic Mini to a practical real-world level, we need to consult with a medical professional and gather validated symptom data. This will help refine the logic and ensure the device aligns with the actual diagnostic standards. Looking ahead, I plan to expand the project by integrating additional medical sensors in future revisions starting with an infrared temperature sensor and eventually adding support for heart rate, SpO2 sensor and other vitals. The goal is to turn Medic Mini into a compact multi-sensor health assistant that is both accessible and reliable. Overall, this project has been completed and all the details regarding this project can be found on its page. Link is in the video description. In addition, we appreciate PCBWay's support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB-related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.